think UCL is at the vanguard of sustainability through uh, educating the next generation of business leaders and politicians uh, to the research we undertake, having influence over some of these massive global challenges and also uh, being a demonstrator of what you can do with your operations. I'm Professor Andrea Saila, I'm in the Department of Chemistry and I'm interested in making materials, making new compounds. But one of the key responsibilities that I feel I have to the university is to actually be involved in sustainability. Well, at UCL we have a great initiative called Green Impact. The Green Impact is a great initiative that can encourage staff to think of really practical ideas to reduce the environmental impact. As part of Green Impact Action Plan last year, I came up with the, this idea of a board in the kitchen to share ideas really. So everybody makes a pledge on how to become more sustainable. So um, we have three wormeries here at UCL Careers. Um, basically the idea is that all our kitchen waste that's um, suitable for worms is collected in the kitchen. Um, and then once or twice a week we bring it up here and this goes in the wormery. At the far end we've got um, rhubarb and potatoes and then we've got a massive bed full of courgettes and squash. I've been part of it for two years now. So it's basically a, a space where UCL students can come and grow things together. The more students get involved, the better the green impact programmes and projects become. And when they come up with ideas for, for some of our projects, that's been hugely beneficial and rewarding for all of us. It can sometimes seem really difficult as an individual to make any kind of difference because you feel so small and there's so many hundreds of other people in your department. This year, you know, we, the UCL sustainability, the, the green impact, we tried to go for the maximum prize and it took a lot of work from all of us and it's 11 of us. But I think one person can make a difference though, even if it's just a small thing, it doesn't matter, it's something small, it's important. I think this century is the one where humanity really wakes up to the fact that our planet is finite. This is what we've got and this is what we've got to work with and if we don't work out a way to make it sustainable this is all of our problems.